supposed to make this video unless they were in it. So leave a like and a comment for these two. This is Baby. This is Cuddle. Tell us which one you like, which one you like the best. They're having a competition. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nomadic Heen channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with Cuddles, and we're about ready to take a look at this Ariana and Evans Artisan Shave Soap and Aftershave few things we're going to touch base on in this video. One, we're going to look at the graphic of the label of the shave soap and aftershave. Two, we're going to bloom some soap. So we're going to take a scoop out. We're going to bloom it for eight to 10 minutes. We're going to see how that does for the atmosphere of the shaved in. Then we're also going to be doing a dry sniff. And I'll tell you about what I think this soap smells like or what sort of memories it triggers for me. We're also going to be looking at the website and seeing what the artisan is saying about this soap, what's in it, what kind of nodes they're uh, putting out there for us to smell. Uh, the last part of this video is going to be lather. We're going to see how this thing lathers up and then we're also going to be trying this. That includes a shave. We're we'll doing that towards the end of the video. But we're going to flip you guys around right now. We're going to get an up close look at this label, open it up, see how soft or hard this soap is and let's go from there. Now I love the label to this soap, it's one of the reasons why I bought it. At the bottom we've got the water, the lotus, trimmed out with some palm leaves, and a naked dragon rider in front of the moon. Just can't go wrong with that. As we open this up, I get a rush of scents, smells, and aromas coming off this soap. It's very pleasing, we'll touch base on that. Looking at this, we've got that small batch look and feel, looks like it was freshly poured in here. My thumb presses right into the soap, it's very soft. We're gonna take this scooper I stole from my wife and take out a little chunk here and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the Vikings Blade cup. Get some tap water going, we'll cover up the soap, we'll leave it in the shaved in for about eight to 10 minutes and come back and check it out. At the top of this, we've got the scent nodes, we got the ingredients at the bottom. We'll run over a few five star reviews. I couldn't find anything less than five stars on these guys, must be good. Describe the scent, but it's very sweet and fresh. It's like mysterious. What are you, what are you getting from this? Oh, I love it. So soft and sweet. I love the way the batter looks too. It's got like little specks of something. You almost want to taste it. It looks and smells so good. It's kind of like a little orange scent. It's like a childhood bag. Some kind of childhood bag. Yeah, I'm trying to... We smelled this the other day and I had something more pinpointed out, but I just can't... I just can't nail it right here. It's not so masculine. It's not something you're going to put on and be like, this is a manly scent, but... It's, it's beautiful and sweet and tasty. Yeah, this is a good smelling soap. It's like um, a sweet boyfriend. Whoa. I'm excited to try this, to be honest. I've been trying, hey, why are you doing the bite, the shirt biting thing? Um, I've been excited to try this soap, to be honest. I've been looking for something delicious and smelling good, and hopefully it'll make my skin feel great, and that's something else we're gonna touch base on in this video. Mm. It's really good. This is a really good smell. It's not too sweet. Yummy, yummy. There's a slight hint of floral in there. Just in the background. Like maybe a spring spring day. What's that sweet? The sweets are like some fruit. Some fruit in the distance or something like that. So um man, I'm just not nailing a memory attached to this or a but this is a great scent. Um, I can't wait to see what the shaved in or sniff like, what the shaved in is smelling like because uh, we've got that blooming back there right now. Do you want some of that? Oh, oh that. she likes it. She's it. Bird, bird approved. Uh, person tested, bird approved. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, you want some too, Poco? <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what do you think about this artwork? I really think that is so impressive. That yeah. that's the reason I encourage you to buy it. If I see, um, you know, just the picture, it's really attractive. It's really artistic. A naked woman on a dragon, you know, is 
It's like really extreme. And she's smoking a cigarette because she's oh, just yeah. a badass. Yeah. Well, what's awesome. this? You get a little bit more of that orange that you were talking about right there. Mm, I love it. Oh, I touched my nose. Ooh. Yes. Wow. So, um, so yeah, in these reviews, as, as we go along in these reviews, we'll be looking at the uh, shave soap and the aftershave. We'll be trying them both. This definitely smells so good. Oh, man. It's almost stronger. I can't wait to see this combo. So, hey, without any further ado, the soap is bloomed. Let's go check out the Shave Den. All right, we're out here in the Shave Den. Let's go ahead and see how this soap is blowing up. It's still a lot of those really sweet, the sweet notes, right? And uh, it almost smells like flower pollen at this point. Fruit pollen. Very, very much more floral. Now, uh, I can't just show you this or I'll spill it out, but uh, I've got this designated cup for this water. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use it as a pre-shave today. So, you can see, here's the soap. It's still just hanging out in there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, use this synthetic brush. We'll see how this guy does here. This is the most lathered soap I think I've gotten so far. Look at that. Really like this bowl and I like this brush. It's nice and thick. The thing that sucks is if you're using it, it clinks around the side. I think it was meant to have like a uh, soap puck in here and then you just swish it around and it would make that sound. Oh wow, look at that. A little chunk of soap. Look at that lather. Wow. Oh, it's so bright and bright and sweet. And a little bit of floral. Yeah, it's not so manly, but it just it smells so good. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna explain that to you. This is a soap that you're thinking about getting. Um, man, it's, it's, a, it's a good smell of soap, that's for sure. Look at that. Pretty good lather. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. I mean, it almost smells like something you'd eat, so. Okay, in this portion, I'm gonna lather this the rest of the way. We're gonna take the shirt off, we're gonna get the pre-shave going, we're gonna soak, and we're gonna do the shave. So, my final thoughts right now uh, is I really love this soap. It smells great, it's the best one so far. Um, as for how well it shaves, you'll just stick around at the end of the video for that. But the rest of you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not willing to watch a man shave at the end of a soap review. So, the rest of you, let's go ahead and get this, uh, get this shave on. For all those of you wondering how many tattoos I have, one. <laughs> This is about a week going on here. Thought I'd go ahead and show you what we're working with before we shave it off. Using the bloom water as a pre-shave, we're gonna go ahead and put that on the face. Now I've been told it helps soften the skin and helps increase the lather of the soap. Now as you can tell by my uh, demonstration brushing my face, I need to work on my technique. I'm pretty new to the wet shaving sport. That's, that's some lather. Wow. All right. Let's go ahead and grab the Shape Logic. I've used this blade four times, and I think you could probably get another shave out of it, but uh, I'm gonna do a brand new razor out of this just to see how well this soap actually works. We don't have any kind of hiccups. Boom. Brand new blade. Now sitting here watching myself shave in a blurry focus, I'm reminded as to the meaning of Kaizen. Kaizen is Japanese for improvement, to improve, to improve oneself. That's something we can all use in our own lives, constant improvement. Just like the soap makers, Ariana and Evans continued to improve on the base of this soap and the scent of this soap, 
we'll go ahead and continue improving on these videos as well. We're going to lather up one more time for a second pass. Make sure we didn't leave any scragglers behind. I also like to shave my tattoos so we lathered the neck as well. Now this soap actually left my skin feeling very fresh and soft after this shave. Probably the best soap I've used so far. Definitely one worth checking out and picking up if you are thinking about it. All right, that's gonna wrap up this part of the video. Oh, it smells so good. It feels fresh on my skin. I really love the way this stuff lathered. Um, smells good, lathered really good. There's still a big chunk of that soap in here. I obviously used too much. Ooh, it's got a nice like invinegrating uh, sting on my face. I don't know how to explain that very well, but mm, it's got a good little bite to it. it makes you feel alive. Mm, all right, we'll see what the wife thinks of the shave and the uh, smell. And that's going to be it for us. Hopefully you guys liked, shared, and subscribed. You know how YouTube works. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah, that was it. That's pretty good, baby. <laughs>